the Muller Liar Illusion. Imagine you're at a party and two people walk in wearing the exact same outfit, but one person looks way taller just because of their shoes. That's basically the Muller Liar Illusion. You've got two lines that are exactly the same length, but one has arrows pointing outward at the ends, while the other has arrows pointing inward. Your brain swears the line with outward arrows is longer, but grab a ruler and you'll see they're identical. The reason why your eyes get fooled is that your brain interprets these arrow endings as depth cues, like the corners of rooms. The outward arrows look like the far corner of a room, which your brain assumes must be further away, so it makes the line seem longer to compensate. The Ponzo Illusion Let's say you're looking down railroad tracks, stretching into the distance. You see two identical trains on those tracks, one closer to you and one further away. Even though both trains are the same size, the one further down the tracks looks massive compared to the closer one. That's the Ponzo illusion messing with your head. In this illusion, you've got two horizontal lines of equal length placed between two converging lines that look like those railroad tracks. Your brain sees the converging lines and immediately thinks perspective and distance. Here's the thing. Your brain assumes the line that's higher up and between the narrower part of the converging lines must be further away. Since it looks further away but takes up the same amount of visual space, your brain concludes it must be bigger. The Cafe Wall Illusion Imagine you're stacking boxes in a warehouse, and you're absolutely certain the shelves are tilted and about to collapse. You grab your level to check, only to discover everything is perfectly straight. That's exactly what the Cafe Wall Illusion does to your brain. You're looking at a pattern of staggered black and white tiles with gray mortar lines between them and those mortar lines look like they're slanting in alternating directions. Your eyes swear up and down that the lines are tilted, but if you grab a straight edge, you'll see they're completely parallel and horizontal. The reason your brain gets bamboozled is because of how it processes contrast and edges. The gray mortar lines sit between alternating light and dark tiles, and your brain's edge detection system goes haywire trying to figure out where one tile ends and another begins. It's like your brain is trying to read a book where every other word is in a different font. It can do it, but it makes mistakes along the way. This illusion was actually discovered on the side of a cafe, which is why it has such a straightforward name. The Ebbinghaus Illusion, Titchener Circles. Let's say you're shopping for pizza and you see two medium pizzas, one surrounded by tiny personal pizzas and another surrounded by extra large family-sized pizzas. Even though both medium pizzas are identical, the one next to the tiny pizzas looks way bigger, while the one next to the giant pizzas looks smaller. That's the Ebbinghaus illusion in action, and it proves your brain can't judge size without comparing it to everything around it. In this illusion, you've got two circles that are exactly the same size, but one is surrounded by large circles, while the other is surrounded by small circles. Your brain immediately makes the circle surrounded by small circles look bigger, and the one surrounded by large circles look smaller. The reason your eyes fall for this trick is that your brain uses context and relative size to make judgments about everything you see. It's like showing up to a party where everyone is 6 feet 5 inches tall. Suddenly your average height feels short, even though nothing about you changed. Your brain can't help but compare. And those comparisons override what's actually in front of you. Even when you measure both circles and prove they're identical, your brain still refuses to see them as the same size. The Zollner Illusion Imagine you're hanging picture frames on your wall, and you're convinced they're all crooked even though you used a level on every single one. You keep adjusting them, but they still look tilted no matter what you do. That's basically the Zollner illusion torturing you, and it's one of the most frustrating geometric tricks your brain can experience. You've got a series of parallel lines, completely straight and parallel, but they're crossed by short diagonal lines at alternating angles. Your brain looks at this pattern and swears those parallel lines are tilting toward and away from each other zigzagging across the page like a drunk driver. Here's what's really happening. Those diagonal crosshatches mess with your brain's ability to judge angles and orientation. Your visual system tries to process the angle of the short lines and accidentally applies that angle information to the long parallel lines. It's like your brain is a GPS that gets confused by side streets and thinks the main road is curving when it's actually going straight. This illusion is so powerful that even graphic designers sometimes accidentally create it in their work making perfectly aligned elements look crooked to everyone who sees them. The Hearing Illusion Let's say you're looking at a dartboard on the wall, and the lines on the floorboards behind it suddenly look like they're bending outward around the dartboard, even though you know floorboards are straight. 
That's the hearing illusion messing with your perception. And it's like your brain decided geometry rules don't apply anymore. In this illusion, you've got two perfectly straight parallel lines, but they're placed over a background of radiating lines that all converge at a central point, like bicycle spokes or sun rays. Your eyes look at this setup and immediately think those parallel lines are bowing outward, curving away from the center point. But grab a ruler and you'll see they're perfectly straight. The reason why your brain gets tricked is that those radiating background lines create a false sense of depth and perspective, like you're looking down a tunnel or into a funnel. The Shepherd's Tabletop Illusion Imagine you're furniture shopping and you see two identical coffee tables, but one looks long and skinny while the other looks short and wide. You're about to buy the long one because it fits your space better, but then the salesperson tells you they're literally the same table just rotated. That's the shepherd's tabletop illusion, and it'll make you question every furniture decision you've ever made. In this illusion, you've got two parallelogram tabletops drawn in perspective. One appears to be oriented lengthwise, and the other appears to be oriented widthwise. Your brain is absolutely convinced that one table is longer and narrower while the other is shorter and wider. But here's the plot twist. If you trace both tabletops and lay them on top of each other, they're identical in every dimension. The reason your eyes get fooled is that your brain interprets these 2D shapes as 3D objects in perspective, and it automatically compensates for the angle you're viewing them from. It's like your brain is a really eager assistant that corrects your work before you even ask, except it's correcting things that don't need correcting. One tabletop looks like it's receding into the distance, so your brain stretches it out mentally, while the other looks like it's facing you more directly, so your brain compresses it. Even after measuring them and proving they're the same, your eyes will still insist they're different sizes, and no amount of logic will convince your visual system otherwise. The Vertical Horizontal Illusion Let's say you're trying to guess if a flagpole is taller than it is wide at the base, and you'd bet money that it's way taller. But when you actually measure it, you discover the height and width are exactly the same. That's the vertical horizontal illusion trolling you. And it happens because your brain has a weird bias against horizontal lines. In this illusion, you've got two lines of identical length, one vertical and one horizontal, often arranged in an upside-down T-shape or a plus sign. Your eyes look at this setup and immediately think the vertical line is longer, sometimes by as much as 20 to 30% longer in your perception. Here's the thing. Your brain tends to overestimate vertical distances compared to horizontal ones, possibly because gravity makes vertical movement feel more significant, or because we scan horizontal spaces more frequently with our eyes. It's like your brain thinks climbing a ladder is a bigger deal than walking the same distance across a room, so it inflates the vertical measurement.